Hello, teacher friends. I am Susan Brown, a brand contributor with GoGo Kid. And in this video, I've come to talk to you about the three classrooms of GoGo Kid. Did you know there are three different classrooms that we use? There's the backup classroom, or the old classroom, or the classroom 1.0. And then there's the regular classroom, or the new classroom, or classroom 2.0. And then there is classroom 3.0, which is coming soon. Now, if you are a teacher with GoGo Kid, you are probably most familiar with what we call the new classroom or classroom 2.0 because that is the interactive classroom that we have been using for several months now. However, when there are issues with the new classroom, when there are um, system issues going on, we will sometimes be placed into an old classroom. So if you've been teaching more than a week or two with GoGo Kid, you may also have some experience with the old classroom, which is not interactive at all. And very shortly, GoGo Kid will be introducing classroom 3.0, which is going to be a more stable classroom and more user-friendly classroom for the teachers. So stay tuned to this video so you can get a brief introduction to each of the classrooms so that you can know what to expect as a GoGo Kid teacher. Let's go. The backup classroom, the old classroom, classroom 1.0 is a very simplistic classroom. There are no animations in this classroom. There are no songs that you can click on and make play. There are no items to move around on the screen. Version 1.0 was pre. This was the very first classroom that GoGo Kid had, and it was before there were interactive lessons. So if you have a class that is put into class room 1.0, even if it's a trial class that is supposed to be interactive, you will not be able to access any of the interactions in this classroom. So keep that in mind as you go through teaching. You are going to have to sing the songs on your own and you are going to have to make do the best you can with what you have in that classroom. But take heart because classroom 3.0 is coming soon and hopefully we will not have to utilize the backup classroom anymore at that point. If you're used to teaching in classroom 2.0, you know that the start class button is going to be up above your student's head. However, in classroom 1.0, it is at the bottom of the screen and you are able to click that start class button even before it's actually time to start the class. So be careful about that. You need to make sure that you are watching your time on your computer or on your phone or some other place so that you can start the class at the accurate time. Your student is able to see you and hear you before you click that start class button. In the old classroom, you will find the settings button within the frame of your video feed. So wherever you see yourself, in the bottom right hand corner, you will also see the small gear that you can click on to test your settings or adjust your microphone or speaker or camera in that classroom. If you are in the old classroom and you find it lagging or there are IT issues, you can use the reload button to refresh that classroom and get it back up to speed. The teaching tools will be all across the top of the PPTs and you will see the pencil tool. So you can select the pencil tool for drawing on the screen. You can select the text tool for typing on the screen and you can use the color drop down box to choose a different color for your drawing tool or your text. If you have used text on the screen, you must click back onto the little pencil that you see at the top here in order to be able to draw on the screen again. The star reward will be up above your student's image and you can click on the star reward every time you want to give the student a star. You can click on the trash can to erase everything that has been done on the screen. And you can click the undo button to undo the last thing that was done on the screen. When your five minute countdown timer reaches zero, you will be able to click the finish class button 
and do not forget to leave your student evaluation within the next 12 hours for 100% pay. Okay, and now for the classroom 2.0, let's go over the basics of that. This is the current regular classroom that teachers are using as of May 16th, 2019. However, coming very soon, we will start rolling into the new classroom 3.0. Classroom 2.0 is currently the primary class that we are using at GoGo Kid. The Start Class button you will see up above your student's head and you will want to click that Start Class button as soon as it is time for your class to start. When you see that little hand pop up there, go ahead and click to start your class. This will turn on your audio and video and it will also turn on the student's audio and video. Before you click that Start Class button, your student cannot see you and they cannot hear you and they cannot see what you are doing in the classroom. You will find that in the current classroom, Classroom 2.0, you are able to turn off your camera and turn off your microphone by using the little symbols that you see in the bottom right hand corner of your teacher video feed. You are also able to turn off your student's microphone and camera by clicking on the same images that are in your student's video feed. You'll find the teaching tips in this classroom in the upper left hand corner of the screen. So as you're looking at your PPT, you will be able to see a gray bar across the top of the slide giving your teacher instructions. To the left of that little gray bar is a tiny little triangle. If you click that triangle, that will hide those teacher instructions so that you can see more of your PPT. And if you click the triangle again, it will reopen those teacher instructions. If the PPT slides are not shown, or if you are in the whiteboard function of the classroom, you can go to the files tab in the upper left hand corner of the screen. It looks like a small piece of paper with some writing on it. Click on the files tab. Under public documents, you will see the option for the PPT. There's a big red P to indicate it's the PPT. And you'll also see the lesson code for the class that you are teaching. So click that and it should take you to your PowerPoints for the slide. Along the right hand side of the PowerPoint display area, you will find your teaching tools. These tools include a pointer, which is what allows you to click on the animations in the classroom, a drawing tool, which allows you and your student to draw on the PowerPoint. You will find an eraser. You will find a clear screen function that looks like a trash can. And then you will find the reward function, which looks like a star. Below these are a few extra tools that are accessible through the ellipsis. That's the three little dots at the bottom. If you click that, it will open up a box with several other classroom tools that you can use. These include a countdown timer, a number spinner, the ability to text on the screen using three different fonts. These include a filled rectangle or the outline of a rectangle or a circle. Your undo and redo functions are there. If you are in this classroom and you want to select a different color for the drawing tool, you will simply click on the drawing tool that looks like a pencil and it will reveal the color options available to you as a teacher. There are also digital filters available in the classroom and you will access these by looking at your video feed and your student's video feed. In the upper right hand corner, you will see what looks like a little smiley face. When you click on that face, it will open up the options for the filters. These are a great way to keep your student in front of the camera when you're seeing half a face. They will move over because they want to see what funny face you are putting on them or if it's rabbit ears or glasses. So don't forget to take advantage of those digital tools. When you are finished teaching your class, you will see when the timer is up to 25 because you clicked that start class button right at the beginning of class time, you will see the finish class button is now clickable. Go ahead and click that when you are done. Say goodbye to your student.
actually say goodbye first and then click the finish class button if you were to have any IT issues in this classroom you would resolve them by going to the the question mark in the bottom left hand corner of the screen that is your call IT for help button and then you will also see just above the question mark actually two above the question mark question mark information button and then the settings button will be above those um, where you can adjust your speaker settings your microphone settings or your camera settings as needed okay so now that we've talked about the classroom 1.0 and classroom 2.0 let's start looking forward to classroom 3.0 Okay, guys, here we are in the GoGo -Go Kid Classroom 3.0. The first thing you might notice is that the teacher and student's video feed is on the left side of the screen rather than the right. Okay, so the Start Class button is right up here above where your student's head would be. And you will see to the right of that that there is the timer. Before class starts, this is a countdown timer, counting down till it's time for the class to start. Prior to the class starting, your camera is on and you can turn it off by simply hovering your mouse over your video feed and clicking the button to turn off the camera and microphone like this. And then you can click it to turn it right back on. When your student is in the classroom, you will see that you are able to turn their camera off and you are also able to turn off their classroom tool function. So their ability to click or draw on the screen, you are able to turn off that function in the classroom as well. Once you click the start class button, you will see the countdown timer counting up and once it gets to 25, just like in classroom 2.0, you will see that finish button becomes clickable. If you look at the classroom tools, they are here just above the PowerPoint and you will see that there is a mouse tool. So we can click on the mouse tool so that we are able to activate the animations in the class. Your student will also be able to activate the animations in the class when you have the mouse tool selected. Now we have the pencil tool. When you have the pen selected, you are able to draw on the screen and likewise your student is able to draw on the screen. We're going to jump over to, to the color tool to see that you can choose different colors for your drawing tool. Now let's back up to the text tool. If we click on this text function, we can type on the screen And then once you click outside of that text box, you can drag it around, put it where you want it to be, click again, and then it will appear for your student on their side as well. For the eraser, your student does not have an eraser in this new classroom. And once you click the eraser, you are not able to click and drag to erase lines in this classroom like you did in 2.0. We are just going to click on the line that we drew that we want erased and it will erase the whole thing. Also, we have the trash can. So once you've drawn on the screen, if you want to erase everything at once, you can click on this trash can to clear the screen. Then all the way over to the right, you will see the pages. You are able to click <laughs> left and right to reset or change the pages. You can type. A number here to jump to a different slide. You will see here that you can click the animations. Hi! Hi! And if you want to reset the animations, you can do that by clicking the up arrow on your keypad but I click once and I get one high back click twice and I get the second high back so I love that we can reset these animations this is something that I have been asking GoGoKid for 
Okay, down in the chat box, you'll see you can type the same as before. Click send, and then you have emojis, the same as you had before. Across the top, beside where you have your finish class button, your class timer, then you have the lesson number there listed for you, which is great. That way you can be very familiar with where you are if you're not quite sure, if you're teaching a class and you're wondering, how far along is this through this student's group of lessons? You can see that the student is on lesson 11. So they've had at least 10 classes prior to this. They're at unit five. So they've had four units prior to this class. And then further right from there, you will see the question mark. That is your call IT for help button. You can click this for technical support. Um, and then you can choose whether it's the teacher or the student who's having the problem. Choose your issue and click submit. Then you have the gear. The gear is your settings. When you click this, you will be able to test your equipment. Then also you will see all the way over to the right the ability to make the screen full screen or smaller, depending on how you want it in the classroom. Your teacher tips are here. You can minimize them or expand them so that you can see, read them. They're much larger than they were in the previous classroom. I like that. We can read them without our glasses. Your student's reward system will be located inside their video feed. You will see that there are gems to give your students. So the stars are going away with the Classroom 2.0 and our new reward system is gems. So you can give your child a gem, make sure that you give them all five in addition to your secondary reward, whatever that may be. All right, so that was a brief introduction to the three classrooms that GoGo Kid has to offer. Which one's your favorite? I like bits and pieces of each of them, and I really look forward to really getting into Classroom 3.0 to provide a great, excellent, fun, and engaging class for my students. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and subscribe while you're here and click that little bell so that you get notifications whenever a new video comes out. And I will see you next time. Bye. I think it is this way. I'm so confused.